All right, so our story, the first story for tonight, is called Man Eater and His Brother Whirlwind. And I'm going to try to pronounce this uh, Dagwanoyant, Whirlwind or Cyclone. And his brother Man Eater, who is Ongoeus. Now we've we have read and told stories over the last uh, 87 episodes and whirlwind and man eater has showed up in a lot of other different stories so i just just two cents on that so a man and his three nephews lived together but there was a partition in the house the old man lived on one side of the partition and the nephews on the other. There was no door between. They talked through the partition. The old man was an Aguias, a man eater. He was brother of the Dagwanoyan, who chased the panther and her cubs. But that is another story. When uncle went hunting, he started on a run. The young men could hear the sound of his going. They also hunted. When the old man came home, the nephews heard him throw down a body and cut it up. Then they heard him eating and crunching bones. Afterward, he spoke to them, asked if they had all come back from hunting, and they answered, We are all here. One morning after the old man had gone, the youngest brother started off by himself. A short distance from the house lay a big log. Moss had grown over it. When the young man put his foot on the log to cross it, he saw a man fastened to the tree. The man said, I am glad you have come. I am tormented here. If you will take me home, I will be a brother to you and stay with you as long as you live. I don't think I can take you home, said the young man. My uncle is a man eater. But I will talk with my brothers, and tomorrow I will come and tell you what they say. That night, when the old man asked if they had all come back from hunting, the youngest brother said, We have found a man, and he wants to be our brother and live with us. You must not harm him. The old man promised not to harm the stranger and said, I will give him a name. He will be called the found one. The brothers brought the man to the house, and when he had grown strong, he was a swift runner than the man-eater. A swifter runner than the man-eater. One morning, the three brothers and the found one started off hunting. In the afternoon, the old man came home. At night, he asked, Are you all there? One brother answered, No, our eldest brother has not come. The old man was surprised. He told the second brother that he must start early the next morning and follow his brother's tracks. In the morning, the young man set out, and soon he found his brother's tracks and followed them. After a while, he came to an opening. In the middle of the opening sat an old woman. The tracks went towards her. The young man made up his mind to inquire for his brother, and going up to the woman, he asked, have you seen my brother? No answer. The woman was deaf. He pushed her, she struck him, and that minute he turned to bones. Now two brothers were gone. That night, when the man-eater asked if all his nephews were at home, the youngest said, No, two of my brothers have not come back. 
You must follow their tracks, said the old man, and find out what has happened. Early in the morning, the young man started. When he reached the opening and saw the gray-haired woman, it came to his mind that she had killed his brothers. He stepped back, got a good start, ran and sprang onto her back, and then he asked, Have you seen my brothers? The woman didn't answer. He jumped off from her back and then on again. She tried in every way, in every way to hit him. At last she touched him, and that minute he became bones. Three brothers were gone. That night when the man-eater asked, Are you all there? Found one answered, I am alone. My brothers have not come home. The old man said, Tomorrow morning, go into the woods and cut some crotch sticks. Set them up outside of the house and build a platform on them. Put as many stones on the platform as you can and then start off for your uncle whirlwind. You can't help finding him. As soon as you see him, shoot him in the forehead. He will fly in the direction the arrow came from. The next morning, the man made a platform, and after putting as many large stones on it as possible, he started in the direction the uncle pointed out. About midday, he heard a great noise, and when he came out in a broad opening, he saw a whirlwind on a rock eating the rock, biting off large pieces of it. He shot an arrow at the old man's forehead, saying at the same time, I have come for you, uncle. The great head stopped eating and came toward him. Found one shot a second arrow. The head followed the arrow. When found one shot the third arrow, he was back at the house. He called to the old man-eater. Uncle, I've come. There was a terrible wind and a noise of falling trees. Then Whirlwind stood on the platform and began to eat the stones. His crunching could be heard a long way off. The man-eater said to Whirlwind, Brother, I sent for you and you have come. My three nephews went hunting and did not come back. I am going for them. If I don't return, you will come after me. The next morning, found one was alone. Whirlwind came, stood on the platform, and called out, Have they come back? They have not, answered found one. Well, I am going after my brother. He oughtn't to eat men if he cannot go anywhere without getting lost. Whirlwind went high in the air and saw the old woman. She knew he was looking at her. He came down where he thought she was and bit at her. She wasn't there. He bit gravel. He flew up and looking down, couldn't see her. After looking a long time and not seeing her, he hid behind a cloud and watched. At last he saw her in the ground, and then he plunged down and, biting deep into the earth, killed the old woman, saying, Meanwhile, my brother shouldn't eat people if he is such a coward that he cannot kill an old woman. Found one came, and Whirlwind told him, to put the bones of his brothers and uncle together. Then go to a big hickory tree that stood near, push it and call out, rise up or the tree will fall on you. Found one did as he was told. The four men sprang up and were running off when Whirlwind called to them and they came back. And then Whirlwind's brother said, I give up. I will never eat a man again. The old men 
their nephews and found one, went home together, and they are said to be in the mountains now. Whirlwind is still living. The end.